Daniel dreams of expanding the mission among the Nuba. Daniel shares his dream of establishing communities among the hospitable Nuba peoples of Sudan with the Society of Cologne, even until his death, as seen from his letters to King Leopold II of Belgium. Khartoum, when I received official notification from the Congregation of Propaganda granting me the faculties to found a mission in Jebel Nuba, I sent a small caravan to Kordofan provided with all that was required to start the work immediately. I had hardly returned to Khartoum when a caravan of 16 persons arrived from my institute. They were missionaries, religious of St. Camilla's de Velis and sisters. They had taken the route via Wadi Halfa and Dola and had traveled from Cairo to Khartoum in 103 days. It must be said that these Jalaba are very scared of Europeans, whether they are lay or missionaries, because they know that these Europeans are against slavery. Consequently, the scientific and medical stations and explorations decreed by the Brussels conferences will be ever more useful for the abolition of the slave trade, just as the presence of the missionaries and the sisters is always a pressure on the Jalaba's conscience. Indeed, since there has been a Catholic mission in Jebel Nuba, not a single slave has been snatched from this tribe and no slave caravans have passed through. The traders who make their raids take another route which is much further than the ordinary route and shorter than passing Jebel Nuba. I take the liberty of offering Your Excellency a small map of Danuba, which I drew after an exploration I made with my missionaries over these mountains. Our aim was at the request of His Excellency, Ralph Pasha, the worthy Governor General of the Sudan, to study the very important question of slavery and to propose practical and efficient remedies, which I did to His Excellency's full satisfaction. This map was drawn with the utmost diligence after visiting pass by pass, more than 50 mountains inhabited by one of the most interesting and likable races in Central Africa. In addition, we have written a dictionary of 3,500 words in the Nuba language. Near the Nuba region, there is a people living on nine mountains which is called Numa, and whose language is completely different. These people, still inaccessible to the Egyptian government, receives us with open arms because, they say, missionaries never do any harm and always do good. But after the Nuba, have experienced the benefits of the government which will free them of the Bagara brigands, I am sure that the Numa too will open their doors. Danuba will become a very important region for the Egyptian government and at the same time it will be a strategic position to facilitate the introduction of civilization over an extensive part of other lands in Central Africa. <laughs>